Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that happened this week, of course, we talked about how um, the last update, the cumulative update that was an optional update, actually has simplified the fact that you can have your default browser. But it's kind of a half victory because when you go to the default apps and you have still to find your app like Chrome, for example, um, it's still a little bit of steps. And of course, you can click set default. But when you set default, what happens is the Chrome browser takes over some form of online, you know, like HTML documentation and pages, HTTP, HTTPS, links. But it doesn't do everything. And it's not everything that changes when you actually do this. So at the same time, it's nice that they made it a little simpler for your browser to be the one that is a default on at least web pages and links, but the uh, problem is it's still not everywhere. And actually Firefox, Mozilla, came this week, a couple of days after this, and said, you know what, uh, it's kind of cool, but um, it should be even better. Because one of the biggest problems is that, yeah, halfway there for the browser, but it'd be fun also that not only you had a little more to the browser, but you add, made it a little, even f more, um, you know, e easier to actually get default, uh, basically. So, you know, they kind of wanted to make sure that Microsoft understand that, that okay, we're happy that you did uh, one step forward, but we need more. And of course, that applies to the browser, but when it comes to apps and checking the default apps for other things, you know, like VLC, for example, Media Player, go there. There's no, there's nothing that's going to, you know, have you do the default apps for all the audio stuff. Now, to Microsoft's defense, once VLC is installed, I did get messages saying, well, you know, you want a default. What's the default you want for that app? So... Once again, it's halfway there, but if you haven't chosen right, or if you haven't done the choice, it never asks again. And Well, um, I think every app that has some form of default possible should have an easy way to actually apply it, uh, that's for sure. But Microsoft made a little step forward. Let's hope that that continues because uh, we do need a little more um, of that in Windows 11. Um, and, you know, make us feel that Microsoft isn't trying to take control of everything. Um, that That's not a good idea. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.